I need some time away from you guys. I go to the North Pole, I hang out with Santa. I don't even know what you guys are talking about at this point. Can we get back on track? Yes, we can get it's back so on track. So disrespectful to derail stuff like this. Don't throw the pumpkin. I'm not going to. I'm handcuffed because I'm a stripper. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 71 of Dropouts. This week is our Halloween episode. Ooh, spooky, Damn scary. It. There we go. Jared. You can't mess up. I always think it's the purple one. Of I course, don't understand how you continually fuck one. up that. I don't know either. Arachnid boy over there is. Let's go around the room and tell each other what we are. Well, I'm I'm Spider Man. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Go go. You gotta finish it. It's like, your costume. I was uh, I was saying go go, and then I was like Power Ranger. Uh, Power Ranger. Pink one, Good intro. I'm a male stripper. <laughs> um, you might think, Zach, why are you a male stripper? That is not good in case children are out trick or treating. They're going to look at him and be like, wow, mom, that's real nefarious what that guy is doing. And I would say this I will only be doing this at adult parties and not near children. I will not be stripping near children. I, Zach Justice, will not be stripping near children. Nice. Roll us with some intro music. All right. Unless they pay me in Reese's, am I right? No. Totally joking. Pedophilia so, is never good. Okay, guys, what what's is going up, B words, and welcome back to episode seventy-one of Dropouts. Happy Halloween! <laughs> it's spooky season, baby. Yeah, that's exciting. Why don't we have any pumpkins? Oh, sorry. Get Dude, him out. Throw me a pumpkin, man. It's so so sorry, guys. Uh, if you're an audio listener, we have a set set up right now where we should have a, at least one pumpkin frame. We even bought one. Okay, I'm so athletic. Did you see me catch that? Boom. Okay, one more. Denied, so baby boy. Disrespectful. Can we read these? What are they? Okay, Hello? pumpkins oh. have been established. Are the these pumpkins spooky are stories? Here. Yes. Oh, cool. Uh, so Jared wanted us to read some spooky stories. So spooky. Uh, do you want to go first? Okay, first. What? Yeah, you can go first. All right, Indy wants to go first. So, thought, what is that? I, I, so I you printed off some scary stories for us and the listeners to get spooked at, and then what do you what what do you want from us? You want us to listen and stuff? I want so okay. So this is what I was thinking, right? Um, we're gonna. Read I some. swear, if this is lame, you're getting popped in the nose. Well, I might be getting popped in the nose because I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm hoping it goes really well because <laughs> I I did a lot of vetting for these stories and found ones that were spooky enough. To where, like, you might get little goosebumps, but you're not going to, like, not sleep at night, you know? Are they true stories? Some of them. Who? Actually, most of them, I think. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, Ooh. So, and then this is what I'm thinking, right? Do we all have our phones on yeah. us? Okay. So when, I'm handcuffed. When we're reading, we also, we put, like, the spooky flashlight light, like, pointing up at us. So we have, okay. like, the spooky face. Okay. And then... I've got spooky lighting. Okay. I think. Activate scary spooky lighting mode and go. Ooh. I'm okay. terrified already. You gotta you gotta hold it closer. I'm not gonna do this the whole time. Why not? You look scary. It's exhausting. The eerie attic. You ready? Ooh, this is scary. It's oh, you gave me the Australian one. Yeah, I purpose oh. purposefully did that. <laughs> yeah. She acts like I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh. Ready? A few years ago, I moved into a one bedroom apartment in Melbourne, Australia. It was my first time living on my own. The apartment block had been built in the 1930s. I'd been there for a few months when I came home from work one day and went into the bathroom. I saw something strange, a wooden board which had covered a hole in the ceiling that led to a small attic space, lay fractured in two pieces on the ground. I examined the pieces. The board was an inch thick and it would have taken Bruce Lee to break it. I thought the landlord had sent someone in to work on the attic. I was frozen stiff with fear. Someone is up there for sure, I thought. I emailed pictures to the landlord, asking if anyone had been there. With an undertone of annoyance, since she hadn't warned me. Warned me. Her reply read, Please call me as soon as you're able to. I called and she explained that her last two tenants had said the same thing happened she promised to replace the board and she did a month later i woke up one night around 4 a.m my body was covered in goosebumps it felt like someone was rubbing his or her hands on me everything was silent but then i heard a dragging sound coming from above my bed it was as if someone was pulling a sack of potatoes i froze convinced someone was up there there was no way an, an animal could make that sound 
After five minutes, I worked up the courage to turn on the light, armed myself with a cricket bat, and walked to the bathroom. That's when I saw the new board covering the hole broken in two. I felt sick. The dragging sound had stopped. But I heard something else. Whispering. The sound was clear and coming from the attic. It sounded like children's voices, and I could hear one sentence repeated over and over and over. It's your turn. 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 I'm adding to it. Go ahead. It's your turn. It's your turn. I switched on every light in the apartment to make things feel it's normal. It was 5 a.m. and dark outside. I watched TV to try to unwind. Then a fuse blew. My pet budgie, Dexter, whom I kept in the kitchen, usually never made a sound at night. Uh, quick question. What's a budgie? Really? <laughs> Just yeah. A little bird. Okay. Keep going. A little bird. Okay. I didn't know that either. My pet budgie, Dexter, who I kept in the kitchen, usually never made a sound at night. But then he started squawking like he was being strangled. I'd never heard him make those sorts of noises. He was screaming. I grabbed my car keys, ran out and sat in my car and waited until the sun came up. When I saw people walking their dogs, this comforted, this comforted me enough to go back in. The door was open, but I figured it might have forgotten to close it when I ran out. I went to the kitchen to check on Dexter, but he wasn't in his cage. I felt sick again. All my windows were closed, so I looked everywhere inside. When I walked to the bathroom, I heard splashing. Dexter was half drowned in the toilet. I took him out, washed him and dried him. I was so confused. At 8 a.m., I called the landlord and gave her a, water, a watered-down version of my night. Oh, wow. You heard the whispering too, she said? Yeah. I stayed in that apartment for another 18 months. I heard the whispering on a few occasions and twice the board covering on the hole in the ceiling moved. Although I live somewhere else, somewhere else now, the landlord recently called. She said her new tenants had begged to speak with me about some stuff that's been going on there. Forget it. It's their problem now. Ooh. So what happened? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. What the hell? I was. Oh, nice lighting. I thought our, we didn't pay the electric bill. <laughs> it was the spooky attic. She, mm, there's, there's a ghost. Is that a real and, story? I think so, yeah. I'm pretty like sure. That. A lot of these are from like Reddit users and I whatnot. Like that. Um, so I, I just thought like how creepy would that be to hear like something dragging across your ceiling at night and the board repeatedly being broken. No, I hate that. And so then you much. hear, it's your turn. It's your turn. I don't like that. I have this thing. Does this happen to you guys where when you watch spooky stuff or hear like things about the paranormal, you get very teary eyed? No. No, I don't. I don't. I get on like the verge of crying. Really? Like right now I'm getting on the verge of crying. But that's just, <laughs> you're at a steady cry throughout the day. Like yeah. if crying's like, an oh, eight, you're always at a seven. So it's not like it's <laughs> um, You are about to cry. Yeah, I know. Why? There's tears in my eyes. I don't know. The paranormal just brings it out of me. Oh my um, dude. So you anyway. gotta, I, I mean this in the nicest way. You need to be put down because <laughs> natural selections is a thing and you shouldn't be surviving anymore. Go ahead and read yours. All right, Zach, you ready? Which one am I? I what? Pages. Mine is two pages. No, there's two, two there's two stories. Which we, one? We each have two stories. So I have to read both stories. Maybe. I don't know. God. I didn't know. How, I, I, I listen. Never, like you, I can barely read. God, this is so many words. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, it'll be fine. Come on. You know I can't sound these out. All right. I swear if there's a three-syllable word in here, I'm going to lose my mind. If well, I I'm look going stupid. to initiate spooky lighting. Okay. That's going to get me in the mood. You ready? This story is called The Little Hands. Dun, dun, dun. Hit me with like one of those scary. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, no, no. Yeah. Right. Thanks, Jude. Okay. I've never lived in a haunted house, but my mother did as a teen. Other houses on her street had strange things going on too. A few homes away from her lived a family. One night, the daughter went to bed with a bad headache. The next day, she was dead. She passed away from an aneurysm. After her funeral, the family went away to get their minds off the tragedy. And the father asked my uncle, my mom's brother, to check on their pets. My mom and dad, who were dating at the time, went with him. My mother had heard there was a grand piano and she wanted to play it. My dad was studying to be a veterinarian. After entering the house, my uncle and father headed to the basement to see the animals, and my mother went to the piano on the, on the ground floor. 
She was playing it when she felt something brush her ankles. She thought it must have been a cat. I've been left in the basement and walked past her. She kept playing. And then she felt it again. She looked under the piano and saw nothing. When she started again, she felt hands clasp her legs tightly. She dashed through the basement door, called my uncle and father, and waited for them. Back outside, my uncle could tell my mom was rattled and asked what was wrong. She told him what had happened, and he turned white. He told her the daughter who had died used to play a game with her father. When he played the piano, she'd crawl underneath, grab his ankles, and push his feet up and down on the pedals. Ooh. You read that beautifully. Well, yeah, I, I was, that was a very great reading. Thank you. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to sound some things out, but I really powered through. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like my aggression was uh, taken out towards you, Jared, because of anxiety of maybe not being able to read and maybe forgetting how. But then once I realized I could, I realized I was being a bad person to you, and I apologize. Oh, That's creepy. okay. That's character arc, baby. Um, but anyway, the uh, I'm pretty sure the... The air conditioner was just on. Anyway, uh, what's the next one? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Zach poking holes in all of these. Yeah, let's talk about you trying to poke a hole in me last night, huh? What? Yeah, I wake up to Jared over me and he's like, why don't we just do this? I said, what did you just say? He said, why don't we just do this? Like, we're always thinking about it. We're always talking about it. Um, needless to say, I'm not going to tell you what happened, but let's just say uh, next a week's podcast is going to be had. pretty. Jared, what? literally, that's our clickbait for next week's podcast. They're going to have to wait till they. <sighs> oh. Jared and I had sex. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> um, it's so annoying that you just jumped to the conclusion. I'm sorry. I didn't know what the setup was. <laughs> There's no setup. We didn't talk about this before. Okay. We talked during, and your dirty talk is real weird. What yeah. didn't you like? You said you liked it. You said, I'm going to spank you like you're a bad boy sitting on Santa's lap. What? Jared? That's because you told me you had, and then you said, you're my little ho, ho, ho. I was like, why is this <laughs> Christmas themed? Because you told you me. You said, I'm going to unwrap you like a present. You, you said, I like your package. You told me you're sexually attracted to the winter, and I thought, what's more winter than Christmas time? Well, winter is coming, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, winter is coming, I'll tell The you winter that. is coming. I this, think elves are slaves. Okay. 100%. Okay. Well, all right. What's their 401k like? Do they have a dental plan? I'm sure they do. You know, you have no idea. Have you been? Okay. What? Just Let sucking me, on some candy canes? Yeah, sucking on some candy canes? Yeah. What if that's good for their teeth? Got it. Da uh, how do you know? How do you know? You think they have di different uh, dental makeup just because they're shorter? They what, have but they're different earlobes. But they're elves. Like, are they? Their earlobes are exactly the same. It's the top of their ears that are different. Sorry. Now I can't trust either of you. Mm. Okay, but are they? What? Are they completely human? Like I thought, elves were magical. Well, you wouldn't know. You've never been to the North Pole. You wouldn't know. You've never been. I to the North Pole. I vacation there. Do you? Yeah. Why have we never gone? Because I don't, it's my vacation. You're my work colleague. I don't want to take yeah. you on my vacation. Where have I been? You're also my work colleague. What? <laughs> I need some time away from you guys. I go to the North Pole, I hang out with Santa. I don't even know what you guys are talking about at this point. Can we get back on track? Yes, we can get it's back so on track. so disrespectful to derail stuff like this. Don't throw the pumpkin. I'm not going to. I'm handcuffed because I'm a stripper. You've thrown the pumpkin before. That's why. I've thrown the pumpkin before. Oh, no, he Both he of you have thrown the pumpkin before. In that what? sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> Throwing the pumpkin. Yeah. So this story. Wait, Zach, I need you to. Justice, I assume. Initiate uh, spooky lighting. Hey, uh, who do I talk to? Um, Are we talking to God at this point? Yeah. Hey, God. Zach. Initiate spooky lighting. Hey, God, Zach here. If you could uh, do the lighting thing again, I'd really appreciate it. I hey, thank you. Man. Well, I've got a great relationship with him, unlike you. Hasn't been to church in years. When All was right. the last time you went to church, Zach? Stop. Exactly. You might not help with the lighting last again. Last time you went to church, probably the last time I went to church. We went to church together? Go ahead. No. <laughs> this story is called... <laughs> I was going to say something. Anyway, go ahead. What were you going to say? No, I was... Nothing. Well, what? no. Say it now. No, it's very rude towards Indiana, and I don't want to... Say wanna... it. You're probably on your knees more than... A... <laughs> <laughs> this story is called The Boy With No Eyes. Not a very creative title. Kind of gets right to it. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> One night when I was 10, I was woken up by my bedroom door opening, followed by someone sitting on my bed. I felt my leg grazed and the bed sink under a person's weight. It's just mom, I thought, and I opened my eyes. But it wasn't mom. I found an eyeless boy. He had black, empty sockets, about my age sitting at the foot of my bed. 
He extended out his hand, and in it was a little box. I started, I startled. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jared. I was startled. I'm trying to get immersed. I know. Don't stutter. I was startled, but I reached out. He pulled back. I reached again, and I said, give it. Then I blinked, and when I opened my eyes again, he was gone. But I could still see the imprint where he had sat on my bed. Fast forward five years, my girlfriend came over to do homework. And after Flex. she finished, <laughs> after she finished, she took a nap while she waited for her parents. When they arrived, I tried waking her up. She opened her eyes suddenly, looking up at the corner where the wall met the ceiling. She pointed there and went back to sleep. I shook her again, and she came to full consciousness and explained what she had done. She looked haunted. She said, up on the wall. I saw a little boy with no eyes. He was there in a Spider-Man pose staring at me. <laughs> of course, Jared picks this one. Dude, you get off on Spider-Man. All right, go ahead, man. <laughs> I freaked out and told her my same story about the same kid. Fast forward another five years. I was with the same girlfriend, and we had a two-year-old now. We were living in my parents' house in my um, old room. Did they not wait till marriage? I think that's the scariest part of the story. My daughter started waking up at the same time every night, and she'd talk. After a while, I noticed she had almost the same conversation every night. I playfully asked her once who she was talking to. She said, it's a little boy. He's nice. He's lost and looking for his mommy. My daughter's nightly conversations continued until we got our own place later that year. Why do none of these stories ever have conclusions? It's true. None of them do. Um, well, that kind of was a conclusion. You just, you you just tickling the, the danger zone. You never get me off, Jared. I don't know. I didn't want right. to keep him. So like, there's a small boy who thinks he's Spider-Man? No, he doesn't think he's Spider-Man. He is looking for his mom, but he doesn't have eyes. Is he dead? I assume so. Yeah, he could be sneaking in every night. That's a, that's a scary intruder. Anyway. Or maybe he's Ready? lost. Doing another one? Well, we each have two. I don't know. I think that's enough of that. That's enough? Okay. No, Jared, don't get down on it. I'm what just letting this? you know. Huh? Okay, well, these are two-sentence horror stories. Okay, and I give wanted, me a couple of those. I wanted you guys, or, I, like, I wanted us to all, like, kind of read them, you know. I thought it was another full story. No, it's not another full story. I think this might be funny. You give, you give me a place, and you give me two different characters and then I got to try to come up with a scary story. Oh. Yeah? A little okay. scary improv. Can I give you a place? Yeah. A school cafeteria. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. And you have Johnny and Sarah who are step siblings. Nice. There's going to be some incest in this story. <laughs> um, no, just to joking. Lighting, please. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Hold on. This is the story of Johnny and Sarah in the cafeteria. So Johnny and Sarah were the head of the school council at um, their local school, which gave them keys to the school grounds, and that means they could get there early in the morning. The reason that they got to school early on this day is because it was prom week, and they wanted to set up some decorations so all the kids... Uh, could feel the festivities, you know? Um, but there is a big, and every, every year the, the cafeteria is huge and that's where the prom is held. And long ago, um, in 1964, the prom king and queen were voted in, but they were voted in because everyone wanted to make fun of them instead. And everyone hated these kids at the school hated them so much that those two people got prom king and queen. And when they got in the middle, everyone just started laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing. And the, the people said, okay, the prom king and queen said, okay, you guys want to see something scary if our life doesn't matter. Um, the next day they come into school, um, hanging from the same disco ball where, the uh, prom was held the night before when everyone made fun of them was both of their bodies. And around their neck was a sign that said, you will all remember. I'm starting to get teary-eyed now. And every, 
every year since then on that prom night, something different has happened. But this was in 2014, the 50 year anniversary after their death. So they knew something was going to be scary happening. So Sarah and what is his name? Johnny and Johnny. They go to set up for this prom. And and nothing happened because once you're dead, you're dead. You don't come back as ghosts. Son of a There's bitch. no such thing as ghosts. Ah. Okay? There's no such thing as ghosts. You had me on the on the hook for so long. I, I started getting teary eyed. Did, just... did you like the story so far? Yeah, that was fantastic. I was I was like I was watching a movie. Why did you have to use sixty four? It's the year my dad was born. That's the year my mom was born. Well, they wouldn't have been at the prom if they were born that year. Or what if your dad was the product of the dead parents? And that was the thing that they left behind. Because oh, he was born in 1964. I'll put the scary lighting back. His middle name is John. Oh, <gasps> The story of the Masaras. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, sorry, guys, for kind of derailing that story there. But uh, I felt like it was going to take too long to get to a conclusion. So I, I added a little funny interjection. Um, enjoyed it. I, I thought we had that. a I thought we had a decent setup. Maybe we did have a decent setup. That was so, on the ground. Fantastic. So what are our expectations setup. for this Halloween? We oh, Jared's getting, not get punched drunk? in the face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know. Oh, one year ago from you getting punched one in the face. Ago. Congratulations. Thank you. Fully healed. Fully healed. Emotionally. Mm, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Do you think the boy that punched you, the boy that you formerly loved, um, will be at any of the parties we'll be at? Really good question, actually. I certainly hope not. And what? Okay, this is what I'm thinking. We see him, we leave. I don't. Oh, but oh. well, I don't think we've had have any bad blood anymore. Right? Here's here's my <laughs> thing. Here's my thing. Well, I'm not gonna. You is serious? that I've seen him at a party recently? I can't believe you haven't. You didn't deck him that night. I'm very well, disappointed in you. Because then I catch an I'm assault kidding. charge. I wouldn't. I wouldn't deck him. No, I don't. I don't think. But we, I don't think physical altercation anymore. He. he I think saw it's more me. of like a. Maybe a stink guy here and there, and then we move on. Just like that's exactly I think it's what it was. Like a, we definitely like. I don't think he would ever approach. I or it, like, I. Yeah. T t t today, Junior. <laughs> you. If I was. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! I'm so sorry. I don't think he would approach. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm. I don't want to say us. Our group. All three of. I'm not going to say he wouldn't approach either of us because there's three of us. Any of us. Any. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It wouldn't have, I'm sorry, I re enrolled in school, guys. <laughs> I did. Um he wouldn't approach any of us at all. No. He definitely would get a look or two and I I think I would still want to leave. Really? Yeah, I don't know. It still makes me mm. a little stressed I mean, out. That's understandable. Because I mean I like I I'll admit when I saw him at the party, like my I stopped having fun and my attention just like went to to Keep, him and like keeping an eye on him because that was the first time I'd seen him since he punched me. I haven't and seen everything him. went down. So I I was just like I don't know what kind of what I the don't remember the last here. time I saw him in person, but it's definitely been it was when we went to that uh, the the fair the um, art fair. I think it might have been that was the last time I saw him in person. And then you said Zach, we gotta go. We and gotta then, get out of here. You sprinted out of there. I booked it because I literally thought I was gonna pass out. And I didn't, so. and I was scared. I was, I was so confident that I was going to pass out. I was like, okay, let me just get far enough away from him so he doesn't think I'm a bitch for passing out. If you would have <laughs> passed out, just so you know, I would have picked you up and put you in the car and said and gave you water. That's nice. That's so nice of you. Yeah, um, I'm a giver. I think the scariest thing ever could be like ever going back to where we all were a year ago. So good for us. Yeah. Come a long way. So huge that's, long way from a year ago. Yeah. I spent Halloween I spent my Halloween night I spent the night before Halloween night bawling my eyes out and then did Kobe. I oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I and then I spent <laughs> Halloween night with cop cars surrounding my house. So that was cool. Yes, man. And they weren't strippers, so it was not as cool. No, it wasn't as cool. But they did bring the helicopter. So Speaking that of was helicopters, cool. Zach and I get to go on a Black Hawk helicopter. You get to go on this trip? Yeah. You. <laughs> okay, okay. All I'm saying is I, I feel like I've earned my spot to go since my brother yes. went to West Point Academy and my dad was a colonel for 30 years. Hey, his dad was a colonel. That is pretty good. You fought for this country for 30 years, Jared. 
popcorn kernel. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Wait till he doesn't see this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to go that we're going to take a. Why, why would you? God, Jerry's going to be so. Why would you say this? Because the trip sounded fucking Do you want to know awesome. what we're doing? I I honestly, you told me what you're doing. <laughs> I did. I didn't know it was a trip. We're going on a Black Hawk helicopter for an hour to Fort Irwin. Can you act like it's bad? Like, sound like um, We get to have lunch with the troops. Uh, we get to watch a full-scale military training exercise. We get to gear up and have our own uh, battle exercise. Um, Pretty excited for that. We get to shoot various weapons. Uh, round table open Q and A with all the troops and officers. So if you have any questions, we'll take them with us. Mm -hmm. um, and then we fly back to to Burbank. How far is Fort Irwin? It's about an hour. Oh, nice! Hour. All of that sounds so badass. Okay, Jared. I'm thrilled. Okay, the last thing that happened: Indy got invited to what is it, Halloween Horror Nights. She can only take one person, and I was letting her take you. Correct? Yeah, that's true. Okay, so you know I, you know I do a lot of good things for you, but this one particular thing: my dad was in the military, and 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 my brother, and my grandpa, and my uncle, and every man in my family except for me, and they like to bring that up a lot at Thanksgiving. So I thought this was the least do they I bring could that do. Up at oh yeah, my, uh, one time my father told me that um, you're not really a man if you've never been in the military. And I was like, that hurt. Okay, I'm you know. just so confused as Jared, to why. No, no, no. goes no. over you. Whoa, whoa. No, you, that's not, that's the way. not the question I was going to no, ask. No. And the way that you presented that, it I would only hurt his feelings. Okay. No, 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 God no. damn, <laughs> Indy. And, oh, hey, hey. I got one plus one to the Spider-Man Homecoming fucking premiere. Who's going with me to that? Homecoming was in 27. Whatever. It's <laughs> I'm joking. I get one plus I'm one joking. of that. Who do you think's coming? Probably Zach at this point. I'm kidding. I'm you kidding. only get one plus one? I'm working on it. Wow. That's completely different. <laughs> Zach, you can take that. Thank you. Ha ha! You can still not have I'm the military sorry. thing. Yeah, I don't I'm want sorry. I have both. Jared gets it over you. But why? Just because he's dressed as Spider Man right now. Are there never cops in the Spider Man movies? <laughs> you know what I mean. But like, we pick and choose. Um, I I gotta pick and choose sometimes, unfortunately. And you guys will pick and choose too. Um, no, the the military thing is all jokes. It just sounds like a fun time. I know. I I joke all the time, but I always feel real bad. He does. He talks to me I about it later. Feel like physically real bad, or no, feel bad no. that you missed the? No, I feel bad for you. you. Every like, if there's what? anything that you can't go to, I always try to get you in, even I more than bad. even more I, than myself. And this I one time was something because my family this was, was really all important. Jokes. You called me a. Oh my God, I've never Zach, heard that. Specifically, mean that. specifically one that. I've never heard the term outside of cinema. Well, technically, this is not real life. This is I'm looking at you, Jared. <laughs> This feels pretty real. What was your question? I was just confused. So what? Why did they reach out? The U.S. military? Okay. Yeah, like because it's not like a. I'm pretty sure it's like a recruiting thing. I think it's just a recruiting thing. They just want to get like. Yeah, sign I think up. they just they know that we have an audience and people yeah. are looking for career paths. It's not a bad career. Very. Respectable. I was just told I get to go on a helicopter, and I've never been in a helicopter. So I wanted ever. To go. Never in my life have I been mm. on anything that spins and takes me up. A black hawk. Yep, I've never cool. been on any. It's very different than um, my Pornhub search, but very a similar name. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the movie Black Hawk Down? Fantastic, Fantastic movie. movie. Yeah, I've not seen that. Let's just hope you our should. Black Hawk stays up. <laughs> you should. Uh, you should watch that movie yeah, we before you it. go. Do we uh, want to read the the? Get on the ground, sir. Jared. Sir, okay, okay. You don't don't cock the gun. I'm doing what you said. Cock. Indy. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Just got shot. Officer. It's okay. Thank you. I'm just doing I never duty. go to sleep, but I keep well, waking up. Well, read them in order. <laughs> Holy oh, hell. Why does it matter? So we can keep track of the ones that we read. Okay, so these are one to two sentence scary stories? Yeah, they're one. I don't, I've, sometimes I find those the scariest. Okay, here Ready? we go. I was having a pleasant dream, and what sounded like a hammering woke me up. After that... I could barely hear the muffled sound of dirt covering the coffin over my own screams. <gasps> Buried alive. Riddle found out. They're not riddles, Zach. <laughs> Ready? Ready? I can't sleep, she whispered, crawling into bed with me. I woke up cold, clutching the dress she was buried in. That one's just sad. Yes. I feel like, I feel like okay. she, he's oh. having a bad dream. I'll do one more. I begin tucking him into bed, and he tells me, Daddy, check for monsters under my bed. 
I look underneath for his amusement and see him, another him, under the bed, staring back at me, quivering and whispering, Daddy, there's somebody in my bed. Who? It's a monster. That one's it's cool. his twin. That one's cool, right? So, God, I can't. I it's can't, his twin. They're playing a bit on dad. Stop, Zach, these, these aren't, aren't riddles. riddles. <laughs> Stop trying to figure it out. Okay. Riddle me. All right, which one did you stop on? One, two, three. You get home tired after a long day's work. And not the accent. <laughs> scary. So I tried something. Uh, you get home tired after a long day's work and ready for a relaxing night alone. You reach for the light switch. But another hand is already there. Ooh. He lives with his mom. He's a nerd. So. God dang. <laughs> um. I can't move, breathe, speak, or hear. It's so dark all the time. If I knew it would be this lonely, I would have been cremated instead. Oh, that one kind of fucks oh, you up. Oh, I'm being cremated after you. <laughs> I'm planning you have, on being cremated anyway. Where would you have your ashes spread? <laughs> I don't know if I want them spread. You just want them in a I jar. I want to keep them in a pocket. Well, I'd have, this is indie. I'd want <laughs> no. I'm free. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd want like little pieces because you can t get like tiny amounts of your ashes can be made into stones. Like, where are you going? I'm free. Jerry. Oh, he's really going with the bit. Oh yeah, he and he's gone. He's gone. Why There's is he, the door. Why did he go? He's playing up this bit. He's playing. <laughs> I like to think <laughs> we just never, never see, see him, him again. <laughs> I would like to think that too. I, could you imagine? Like we just the he doesn't come home for like another couple hours, and then we're like, where the fuck, where, did he, where just is a he? full year, and then we're calling. He just falls off the face of the earth. He's we never back. see. I forgot my phone. Oh, where are you going? Oh, you need that. I'm He's free. We were talking about like how I'm free now, so now I get to leave. We were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Did we're talking? Did you know, that shit. would be scary. I don't know if this is a movie plot already, or if like maybe no. it's a movie plot. Already. I think I think it's, it's, a, it's a, movie, a movie plot. It's a movie plot where, say, he walks out, he falls off the face of the earth completely for the next year. No social media, no phone number. It's like the world didn't know he existed. Nobody else remembers him except us two in this room right now. We're the only two people that remember Zach Justice, and we're so confused as to where he's gone where he's been what he's doing like n he does not exist exactly a year later to the date and time and second he walks back in the room and everyone suddenly remembers and we're just sitting here like what the fuck that sounds like uh oh what's the i copyright i copyright that already it's already it's already uh, you copyrighted should, you should write it down i came up with this idea at 5 43 p.m on october 27th eighth tw on october 28th <laughs> october 28th Eight at five forty three p.m. Um, mine. No, I. That was actually. Is he really gone? Uh, maybe, probably. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna continue on. Um, but that sounds like. So Riley and I were gonna try to play a prank on you, and we were gonna get when everyone involved. Well, maybe she'll do it. April first coming up. It's a very intense prank. Do okay, it. okay, okay. I Never love mind. a good prank. Never mind. No one ever surprises me or pranks me. It well. We're kind of worried that it would psychologically break you. Oh, that's really <laughs> fucked up, guys. Well, you know the things not to mess with me about. It's none of those. Oh, then they go. But I think it would drive you insane. Oh, then that's fine. Which means it's an amazing prank. Yeah, okay, great. Okay. As long as it's none of the things that you know not to fuck with me about. Yeah, no, no, no. And then that's fine. Like, I would never that. fuck with you about some certain things. Oh, wait, Zach just FaceTimed me. What the hell? Is he going? What's he doing? I just missed a FaceTime call, too. Zachary Christian Justice, you just called me. You answer right now. Here, I'll call him on mine. If he picks up, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, Zach, you scoundrel. Where are you going? Why? You still doing the podcast? Yeah, where are you? I'm free. Where are you going? Anywhere I want, Jared. I, I don't have to do this stupid podcast anymore if I'm not handcuffed like I thought I was. Or <laughs> like I was. <laughs> Starting a new life, guys. Well, over and out. Over and out. What kind of goodbye is okay. that? I'm telling you, we're, he's gonna disappear off the face of the earth. We're not gonna hear from him for the next year. Okay, so what do we do? How do we? This is game plan. We're about to have a really boring, unfunny life. 
if you think about it, he brings a lot of the pizzazz to situations. He brings a lot of the pizzazz without bringing the pizzazz, if I you know, know what I mean. Like exactly. Yeah. I know exactly his, what you mean. His humor is very low key. Yeah. It's just like under the radar and you're like. Anyway, shit. You want to look at some uh, celebrity costumes? Oh, I, l- I would love that. I would love nothing more. Okay. So. What a great idea, Darren. Thank you. Thank you very much. I had a really good costume idea for this year, but I couldn't pull Which it off. Which was? Well, I'm going to wait until next year to do it. Oh, when you can pull it off? Yeah, when I can pull it off. All right, wait. I'm going to count down from three, two, one, and then you're going to tell me what it is. I'm just going to cut it out. You ready? All right, three, two, one. Back in. That's a fantastic idea. Is that I, not fantastic? I love that idea so, so much. much. It's fantastic. Next year has to be a must. 100%. And then I want all three of us to do something together too. Yeah. The, the, you mentioned that. You were like, it's been a year. How did we not like plan a three-person I costume? I don't know. Like, I think it'd be really funny if like, like something that, I mean, if we had enough time, it'd be like Dr. Phil, bad baby. Cause like my therapist, <laughs> I'm the one that's off the rails. And then like, who would you be? I would be the mom. No, but the mom is like completely as much off the rails as bad. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, You're pretty off the rails sense. too. We're off the rails. He's back. Two different. Where did He's you back. go? <laughs> did you really just, you just left? With the handcuffs and all. No, no shame about it. What's going on guys? How was your uh, freedom? We're talking about how if you just walked out of that room and we didn't see you for the next year and you fell off the face of the earth. Yeah, I was contemplating that. It was either that or come back in. So real 50-50, flipped a coin, tails. So Tails never fails. <laughs> Here I am. What have you guys been up to? Um, we're, we're about to react to some celebrity Halloween costumes. Oh, perfect. Came back for the just the right time. All right. So here we go. Here's the first one. Uh, <laughs> you should have some this- Heidi Klum's. Uh, well, Is you'd Heidi be Klum? surprised. <laughs> so, oh, it's Heidi Klum. Um, so it's Heidi Klum and Tom Collitz. How do you say? It? I don't know. Uh, as Shrek and Fiona. Amazing. In 2018. What an amazing costume. She goes all out every Halloween. I can't wait to see what she is this year. It's insane. A lot of these are Heidi She went Klum's. as like Jessica Rabbit one year. Yeah. Just yeah. nice Shrek titties. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can I say it? Cause I, it's. She does. Technically, it's an ogre. Nice ogre titties. So technically, I'm not. I'm not like being. Yeah. <clears throat> like a pig. No, you're just stating the. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She um, does have some nice ogre yitties. I just. I I started laughing right before <laughs> I showed this, just because uh, it reminded me when we. So we had a dropouts business call, and Indy called like joins the Zoom. <laughs> oh yeah, meeting. the other day we're we're signing with like a new studio, and like like Jared's saying, we. It's very business, professional, right? It's a, it's a very business professional. Call. It's a business call. And Indy <laughs> signs in and we're just like, we're sitting there and she and everybody's like, okay, just waiting on Indy. And all of a sudden a Shrek <laughs> picture pops up and Zach goes, I think that's her. <laughs> and then it's my Zoom name is Shrek without lipstick and then Julie went applied. It's yeah. my mom's joke because it's I use my mom's Zoom. We have yeah. the same account, but it's but what, why why are you Shrek at all on your professional Zoom call? Because that's funny. <laughs> no, but what is, I'm like Shrek, Shrek really with no lips. The ice. Shrek, Shrek with, with no, no lipstick. Julie when applied. When her lipstick applied, she's Julie. But when without it, she's Shrek. Oh, so it's just your mom's Zoom account. Yeah, I just said that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they, okay. So do you not have your own Zoom uh, Zoom account? I think I do. I just anybody. think that mine wasn't working one time, and I've just been locked into hers ever since. Oh gotcha. my gosh! All right, this one is Rita Ora as Post, as Post Malone, Malone in 2018. She did a great job. That's fantastic. Yeah, is that Lamp this. Carl. Oh, you had that stupid joke. Listen, Post Lamp Mal- Lamp Carl is a um, it's a riddle, and the first person <laughs> to figure it out in the comments wins. So here we go. The weekend as the Nutty Professor. Have you seen some of his costumes? They're the fantastic as well. I love when people like go full out and like do prosthetics and everything. Yeah, um, his are badass. Lup- uh, Lupita Nyong'o. As oh, from Clueless. Yeah. Oh my gosh, uh, that's Nailed cute. It. Nailed it. Oh. Nailed it. Not seen Clueless. Really? She nailed it. She nailed it. <laughs> it's what I've been hearing. That's what I've heard. Here we go. Here's another weekend one. Uh, it's with Bella Hadid, uh, the Beetlejuice, oh, and that's Lydia. Really cool. But that's what I'm talking about. He goes all out. My brother is doing a um, drag as Lydia this weekend. Really? Mm-hmm. I've actually never seen Beetlejuice. Really? No, never that's seen good. it. Okay, this one isn't like blow my mind impressive, but it just 
kind of scared the shit out of me and I didn't recognize Shoot. who it was at first, but Victoria <gasps> Justice My as sister. in a Ouija board. That's really cool. Like very simple idea. Very cool. But very cool. I've never seen that before. And Zach's sister, yeah. Ugh. She looks creepy. She looks good. Like she, she looks still fantastic. looks hot, but like creepy. Um, it's my favorite costume so far. It's very creative. Here is Demi Lovato. Hate it. As Pennywise. Why? I hate clowns. Oh. I thought sense. you just hated Demi Lovato. I, like, I know. I was just like, whoa. It's just creepy. It is creepy. I hate it so much. We can leave. Clowns have just never, ever been fun or entertaining or just like not creepy to me. Have you seen their bit with um, like the honking the nose though? It's a pretty good one. Pretty good <laughs> one. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. This one is so spot on. It's kind of scary. Um, this is Sierra as Cardi B. Wow. And then her son wow. as Future. I mean, her son's young, but. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Uh, I just thought that was adorable. Well, yeah, it's very spot on. Well, they, they've got the money to do the, the prosthetics and the proper wigs and then the makeup artists and get costume designers in. Like, that's what Heidi Klum, she spends like a full year designing her costume and getting it made and hiring prosthetics and everything. Like yeah. her, if I don't know if it's on this list, but her Jessica Rabbit one. I think it's on here. Somewhere. Phenomenal. You know what else is phenomenal? Mm -hmm. Joe Jonas as Sansa Stark. Oh my gosh. That's really funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. And for anyone that doesn't know, his wife plays Sansa Stark on Game of Thrones. Are they married? I think so. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's uh, hilarious. It would be funny shoot. if she went as like a Jonas brother. <laughs> but what not Joe. It? No, like she went as Kevin. Nick. No, Frankie. <laughs> Frankie. Frankie Jonas. Here's Halsey as uh, the corpse groom, bride. The corpse bride. Yeah. Wow. That doesn't even look like her. Right? She's creepy. Here's Joey King as Voldemort. <laughs> That's sorry. dude. If you had a little brother, it'd look like that. <laughs> I feel sorry for my little brother. I want to go as Voldemort one year. That reminds me. Have you seen that TikTok of the girl that dressed as Voldemort and went through like the Starbucks line? Hilarious. Um, do you think you can make me like a Harry Potter themed drink? Oh, yeah. Do you have like a recipe for it or did you want us to make something up? Uh, just like surprise us. Mm, okay. <laughs> you want to talk about someone that always goes all out? It's Lil Nas X as Nicki Minaj. Oh my from gosh. Uh, wow. He would have had to wear some corsets and some hip pads. I don't know how he does it. Corsets uh, and hip pads. No, I know, but just like. That's, yeah, that's incredible. Insane. That's, Cause that's not, it's I mean, corset, like, hip pads, prosthetic boobs, quarter gallon, quarter gallon per. Wow. That's amazing. You could, you, you eyed that really well, Zach. Do you, are you like an expert in this or this is one of the boys in the boom. I can Talk tell how much I milk is usually, um, oh, in a woman. Got sex on deck. And he's got to restock. <laughs> Just keep dancing. Just keep dancing. <laughs> Okay, wait, here's Heidi Klum as Jessica Rabbit. Oh my God, yeah, look how good it is. That's insane. Double gallons both. <laughs> oh, this one freaked me out because I th I legitimately thought it was them, but it's Neil Patrick Harris. Hey! And uh, oh, he's not here. David Burtka as Whoa. Mary Kate and Ashley. Whoa. What is, what a, yeah, that looks, that's terrifying. That's the scariest guy I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like if they just approached me and be like, don't do that. Don't. <laughs> I'd cross the street. Go away, please. Um, last but not least. We have a throwback from 2014. It's Lady Gaga as a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That one's classic. <laughs> just and it's great because you're a high profile celebrity and no one knows who you are, but you still get to have a good time. They all still know who she was. Well, yeah, when you're surrounded by no, but not if you not if you're in like a party or something. Yeah, if you just like that's hilarious. She said walked in. She was a ghost. Well, I also have like bad sexy costumes to react to. Hey, oh, put them up on this. the screen. My favorite are when people just wear lingerie to parties. Oh, where they just like, like with, straight with up no offense. I'm like, that's hilarious. Like I get, I, I, I know that like Halloween is the one night a year where a girl can dress like a total slut and no one can say anything about it. But also well, Indy's saying something about it. <laughs> no, but it's like, but it's also like dress as hot as you want. But like, can you please like not just wear lingerie and be can like, just not? oh, you throw on cat ears. You're good to and go. Be like, I, <laughs> I'd be like, I'm a schoolgirl. Like, why are you sexualizing school schoolgirls? It's weird. Yeah, let's get it's on this pedestal. No, okay. but like, actually, like, it's weird. It's so freaking weird. History deleted. Where's my phone? <laughs> but like, does, is no one thinking about that? 
Oh, it's so weird. Like they're minors in school and you're sexualizing well, them. Well, not minors. Like a 100%. 18 senior. Like <laughs> That's like not. No. Okay, whatever. Go. Okay. Maybe here, held back. Here are some of the uh, either sexiest or least sexy um, Halloween costumes, depending on your preference. So number one. We got the Grinch. Oh. Oh. That's hilarious. That's sexy. But it's not like the Grinch. Well, it's green and fuzzy. It looks like the- I wouldn't say it's sexy, but it's- looks I think like it's, the Grinch's side piece. <laughs> yeah. That's, I think it's like kind of funny and cool that you made like, you want it to be like a hot Grinch. The next one, we have <laughs> sexy Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I couldn't take- Why is his hand so small? I couldn't take anyone seriously if they walked up to me like Ever. that. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> ever dude i need never to, if there's a photo of someone like actually wearing this and never i, I need to recruit him for my for male, your male stripper male stripper uh, pimp squad <laughs> do you guys see it'd be hilarious to wear that at like a male strip club on halloween but nowhere else did you guys see the buzz lightyear teaser trailer that they released they're doing a new yeah. one well they're yeah they're making like a solo An origin story buzz lightyear huh. and so i saw in the comments somebody had a really cool perspective about it they're like this is basically the movie that Andy saw that made him fall in love with like Buzz Lightyear, Aww, or like want him as a toy, and it's like now cool. we get that. And I was like, that's a kind of that's a really cool perspective. Yeah. Anyway, um, here's sexy. Oh, Woody. I've seen that done a lot. I think it's kind of cute. I honestly don't think it's that bad. Hey, we can't rip apart the guy and then get and then not rip apart the girl. I just think I don't think we're only. I don't know. Hate. I think I've seen this done before. I mean, it's definitely thoughty, but it's also like it's cute. I guess I think I've just seen it done a lot. What is this? Sexy banana bread. That's stupid. Are you but really going to? If, if, I, if I was like talking to a girl at a party and I was like, what are you? And she's like, I'm sexy banana bread. I'd be like, <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm sexy like I, banana like bread. Like I guess so, but like. It just, it's so off that it's on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw someone dressed as this this year. I did not look like that as a Velma. What uh -huh. Scooby did we do? <laughs> um, I did not look like that as Velma. Just so we're all clear. Wow. I mean, that's intense. Nice. Um, no, I don't think it's cool. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Hate Velma's it. not that. I mean, she Hate looks it. hot. The worst. Oh, okay. The girl in it looks hot. I guess if you want to go, is like, but like Velma's not like that. Here's a uh, sexy Dexter's lavatory. That's kind of funny. That's what's her name? <laughs> her Instagram handles right down here. <laughs> okay. Sexy pizza rat. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> what? I like that. Like I like that one in the banana bread one. Are honestly, my favorite so far. The two. What are you? Oh, I'm a sexy pizza rat. <laughs> you remember the video from like ten years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big ass rat in the subway. That's me. That's. <laughs> I like that one. The tater, tater thought. Yeah, like <laughs> like tater thought. The ones that like. Yeah, these are good. Like they these, just they understand. Yeah, if you're gonna go sexy, go funny sexy. It's always the tater thought. That's that's amazing. Funny. Sexy undecided voter costume, <laughs> yeah. aka sexy Ken Bone. <laughs> oh, I like that. Remember, do you remember Ken Bone? Yeah, yeah. It's just so funny. <laughs> the, these are so out of the box. The giant, the giant, giant boob. boob. But why funny. is it? Yeah. Why is it one? Yeah. Why is it? I don't know. It looks like a pimple. Maybe you're supposed to go with a buddy. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably supposed to go with a bubby. Bubby. <laughs> a bubby. And last but not no, least, I do not like that one. The pink that one baby doll me. costume. Nope. Hey, I don't yeah, like that one. AKA, no. You know what? I'm not even going to say it. Hate it so much. Hey, hey, hey. Fills Double that diaper hate. up. Hey, 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 hey. Double hate. Loathe entirely. That's all of the Halloween festivities I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stayed till the end, um, um, Send us your funniest Halloween costumes in Zach's DM. No, or send me any, what you're going to be for Halloween. And then we'll, or we, any we can review some of the pictures. Yeah, I'd love to review some Halloween costumes next, in the next, next week. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this week of Spooky Dropout. Jared, hit some intro I'm music. I'm Indiana. That's Jared. Zach That's Justice. Zach Justice. That's Jared for music. Make sure to go follow us on Instagram at Dropouts Pod, and we'll see you guys next week for another episode of Dropouts. Bye. <laughs> trying to strip for you guys Ooh. yes Zach get into it I don't want to pull my piece out Jared <laughs>